a bit of a confession. I felt quite guilty being here today. I'm quite new to forever. I've only been with the business 10 months. Summer's been a little quiet. And I let a bit of negativity get to me. And I, I almost didn't want to do this. And Ange did something amazing on Friday using the power of social media. And she'd done a Facebook Live with Aidan from head office. And we had a tour of the office. And it made me realize a few things. One, we're so lucky to be a part of this business. It's amazing. Number two, I was being a bit of a numpty. <laughs> and number three, no one was going to stop me from living my dream, not even me. So thank you, Ange, for doing that. So enough of the soppy stuff. Today I'll be taking you through social media and how to prospect through social media. Now, I guess the way we're doing business is changing, and social media is changing the way we do business. We're going through the biggest te technology shift in our lifetime, and we need to move with the times. We can now speak to all our colleagues globally using Skype. We can create online communities using Facebook. We can create trends using Twitter. We can share our story and release brands online using Snapchat and Instagram. We can even order a taxi using an app. I know Jane Leach had a first Uber experience yesterday. <laughs> he was lost as well, wasn't he, Ange? <laughs> so, where have you seen it before? I'm going to use a few different examples. First of all, Coca-Cola. See that truck behind you? When that comes on in winter, why does that remind you of Christmas? It's a truck. Is it because it's red and white? Is that why it reminds you of Christmas? Also, remember when Coca-Cola bought the cans and the bottles out with the names on? Who bought one? Who shared it on Facebook? I did. They didn't even spell my name right. <laughs> but you know what? Coca-Cola to this day has never sent me a check for sharing their product. They haven't. So who does it really well in this business? Who's seen those big blue and yellow flags? Where are the eagles? You, sp <laughs> you can't miss those guys. When you see those blue and yellow flags, I want one. They are creating attraction. The green scarves. 18. You can spot those guys, guys a mile off. You know who they are. Again, it's creating attraction. And if you want to see how fun this business is, look at Kimberly Banner's Facebook. It's hard not to go in there and not smile. Or Zoe Stewart. <laughs> they had a team meeting and they played rounders afterwards. Who does that? <laughs> Emma does. <laughs> Do you imagine that in a normal job? We'll have a board meeting and go and play rounders afterwards. It doesn't happen. So why social media? Who remembers Blockbuster videos? Yeah, I used to love the place. It was amazing. It was my treat to go and get a DVD and get my hagen dazs afterwards. But you know what? The digital revolution happened. And companies like Netflix and Amazon started making digital libraries. Guess what? Blockbusters didn't do it. And where are they now? They don't exist. Now, this advert behind me is quite relevant to now. Because 10, 15 years ago, who remembers fax machines? Yeah, answering machines, the Walkman. I used to love having a Walkman. Camcorders, that awkward moment your dad used to bring the camcorder out of the box at Christmas and you didn't know where to look. <laughs> Guess what? All that technology is right here. Who's got a smartphone? So you've got all that power now in the palm of your hand. So social media. Now, I can be here forever and speak about all the different networks that we have, but I'm going to explain some of the few top ones, and I'm going to use a donut as an example. So Twitter, I'm eating a hashtag donut. Facebook, I like donuts. Instagram, here's a really cool photo of my donut. LinkedIn, one of my skills include eating donuts. <laughs> Pinterest, here's a recipe of my donut. And Snapchat, my donut's going to disappear in five seconds. So the Fantastic Four. I'm not going to go into all of them, but I'm going to go into my favorite four. And I think we should all be on these four social media platforms, starting with LinkedIn. 
Now, there are over 40 million students and college graduates on LinkedIn. And I really wish LinkedIn was around when I was at school and college, because I felt really lost after school and college, and I didn't know what to do. And guess what? They're all on there. A lot of them have gone to university, got into a lot of debt, and they're looking for a bit of direction. And they don't know where to turn. So this is a great place for us to be. We can pick out those people. We can find those people on LinkedIn. So what do you post on LinkedIn? What you don't post is your breakfast. It's a professional network. So one top tip, and I'm going to do the same when I get home. I'm going to pick out my top 10 tips I've learned at Success Day. I'm going to post it on my LinkedIn. And it'll hopefully connect with other business owners and other people out there who might be looking for a bit of advice, help, and direction. Facebook. I love Facebook. It's probably the king of social media platforms. You can, everyone's on Facebook. Work colleagues, old friends, school friends, family. I think Jazz's nan's on Facebook, to be honest. Everyone's on there. It's an amazing platform, and you can share so much. How do you use Facebook? You know what? You can share so much on there, pictures, videos, stories. And how I use it is a bit like an online journal. And it's my life that people can see. Now, this might sound a little controversial, but I've totally banned business cards on my team. I don't let anyone on my team have a business card. I think it's a lazy way out. It's easy to give someone a business card and walk off. So what I do instead, when I prospect, I swap Facebook details straight away with that person. One, I can have a look at what they're up to. I can know a bit more about their life. And they can see my lifestyle straight away. And they can see me having fun at a success day, meeting my team during the day when most people are working. And I can sell that lifestyle easily through Facebook. More people who connect with brands online on Facebook are more likely to buy through you. So Facebook's also really, really good because you can create online communities. So we have a team customer page. We have roughly about 5,000 customers in there. There are 5,000 potential people that could join our business. When a brand new product comes out, guess what? I post it in that page, and our orders go up. So it's a great way to capture an audience. Instagram, this is probably my favorite of all the social media platforms. Over 500 million active users. That's the population of the USA. And I strongly believe pictures paint a thousand words. And I love pictures. I post so many of them. I had my best success story in this business through Instagram. I posted a picture of me and a yellow Porsche, and I said it on a hashtag vision board. A young guy sent me a message and asked me more about what I did. I got home and I Skyped him. The next day, he sold his Xbox and joined my business. Timothy, he was called, he was from North Carolina in America, not even the UK. And that's how quickly my business grew global, purely through Instagram. Now, if you're looking at Instagram success, where have you seen it before? Joe Wicks, Lean in 15, who's bought the book? He's good, he's cool. He became one of the first UK Instagram millionaires. He's got his own TV show on Channel 4 now. Mercedes, a worldwide global luxury car company, launched a recent campaign to release their car on Instagram because it reached out to the younger millennials. Snapchat. Who's on Snapchat? Let's show of hands. I love Snapchat. I've become a big fan of Snapchat recently. Who loves a good filter? Yeah. That gold crown, it makes you look amazing, even when you look a bit rough. <laughs> I love it, it's so easy. So I'm gonna quickly do a Snapchat now with everyone. And after, I'm gonna do a countdown, three, two, one, and I want everyone to cheer, because I want everyone on my Snapchat to see how amazing the Forever business is. And this is how easy it is to use Snapchat. So you're ready after, after three. Three, two, one. Love it. Snapchat's easy. It's a bit like having your own reality show for the day. You can be one of the Kardashians for the day if you want. But it's also great for business. When we did our Clean 9, we documented each day on Snapchat using stories. So in the morning when I had my aloe shot, when I had my first shake, and you know what? I started getting more and more clients who were buying products off me through Snapchat. 
All I was doing is living my life. And some of those people have now converted into team members. And it's all through sharing what I do. So, I love this diet because it's about creating curiosity. Because sometimes I think we can give too much away on social media. And it kind of puts people off. We tell them everything. And I've learned something really, really good from going to the cinema, is they create curiosity. When you go to the, to the cinema and you go and watch a film, what comes on before? The trailers. And they show you the best bits, little snippets. And what do you want to do? You want to go and watch that film, don't you? You want to know more. And think about each time you post, create a bit of curiosity. Make it like a trailer to your life. Make people interested. Make people want to know more. So what do you post? I, I get this question asked more than anything. Motivational quotes. Every morning I post something motivational. Because you know what, there's too much bad news in this world. And social media is really bad for it sometimes. So every, every morning I post something motivational. TED Talks, I love TED Talks. I learn so much from TED Talks. If you don't watch any TED Talks video, I really urge you to go and watch it because you will learn so much. And it will help you in so many different ways. How-to tutorials. Now, I tried to do a makeup one, it didn't work. <laughs> but Jazz, she can do them. All the ladies out here, you guys can do them. You can start doing makeup tutorials, a beauty tutorial. It's a great way to get your products out there. Product reviews is something that I can do. So we do that all the time. When we do our C9, essentially, we're doing a product review. And we've got so many amazing products to try. So why not do a product review? Try a different one each month and do a little review about it. Personal adventure, family and team. This is my favorite. Because this business has given my family an amazing future and an amazing life. I've already traveled quite a bit with this business. I went to Switzerland. All expenses paid, it was amazing. I got to meet so many cool new people. It was thanks to this business and I showed it off. I did a little video on my journey there. I met some really cool people there. It was fun. Entertainment and follow trends. So this is something else that we can really concentrate on. And a little tip for you, if you want to find out what the latest trend is, go onto Twitter, and on the left-hand side, it'll tell you the top trending topics. Speak about it. It doesn't necessarily have to be forever. But to engage people to social media, to your page, start talking about different topics. It could be Big Brother. It could be sports. The Olympics. Start speaking about the products. How, how you can start speaking about our sports products when the Olympics are on. Comedy. Comedy is always good, it's always fun, and Angie's really good at this. And she'll post silly things like she did one about fake plants, and her and Bart were out for dinner, and we had to guess if it was a real plant or a fake plant. You know how many people commented on that? You know how much attraction that caused and created for Angie's page? So it doesn't necessarily always have to be about forever. Make it fun. And social proof of your team's success. And today, this weekend, is the best example of this. Because I've seen so many amazing videos and pictures of how many proud mentors there are, their team doing well. So four steps to prospecting on social media. Target your audience. So my target audience is going to be very different to your target audience. So who are, who are your target audience? Observe. This is probably the most important one, because you need to know what your prospect is about. So you need to watch what they're doing. What makes them tick? Are they tired of going to work? Do they want to spend more time with the kids? Have they got hobbies, interests that you might be able to connect with them? So connect, observe, and engage. This is something that we could do more of. Like and comment on people's stuff. The clues in the name, it's social media. Social being the key part. So like other stuff. The more you comment and like other people's posts, guess what? More you get seen. And that's what we don't do enough of. I love watching other FBO's journeys. So I learn something new from them all the time. And I comment and I like and I congratulate people. Not necessarily just my team, but I work with a lot of my sidelines. It's the only way we're going to grow and learn is by working together as a whole big team. And not sticking to, that's my team, that's your team. I'm not let, like, it's rubbish. Why do we do that? We're one big team, we're one big family. To work together. Step four, close it. It's the most important part. We create the excitement. We romance our prospect. 
We need to close it. And this is when it comes off social media. Invite them for a one-to-one. -one. Invite them to your local BP. And get to know them on a more personal level. So I've got my last 30 seconds left. I want to try a little social experiment. Now, if this works, I'll go down a legend. If it doesn't, I'm going to mess up big time. So I need every single person in this room to take part in doing this. And I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and you have to shout out the first answer that comes into your head. Deal? OK. I know some of you are a bit hazy after last night, so. <laughs> OK, so what's 1 plus 1? Two. 2 plus 2? Two. 4 plus 4? 8 8 plus 8? 16 16 plus 16? 32 32 plus 32? 64 plus 64. Now name the first vegetable that comes into your head. Yes! I stole this from the hotel. Well, Jazz did actually. Now, I'm so glad that worked. Now, why do you all say carrot? Was it because I had an orange tie on? Was it because Emma had orange on? Was it the fact the seats upstairs in the lobby are orange and the, and the seat covers are orange? Was it a ginger power yesterday? <laughs> what I'm trying to say is you don't have to spam on social media to get noticed. It's just a bit of passive advertising. You can go a long way. Thank you guys for having me. It's been a great pleasure. <laughs>